Thanks for tuning in today. If you haven't already, please be sure to hit that subscribe button down below. Now that you're subscribed, let's dive into a topic that's not talked about much in the solar industry, maintenance. Most modern day solar systems don't require the same amount of routine maintenance as older systems do. But older systems installed or manufactured before 2014 really do need maintenance. Many of the OG inverters, as I'd like to say, don't have the same safety shutoffs that newer inverters do. And this goes for the installation standards too. This episode isn't to scare you or defer you from going solar, but instead help you understand that while solar is safe, it took nearly eight years for the electrical codes, manufacturing guidelines, and the city standards to reach the level of quality control we have today. If you or someone you know has an older solar system and you live in Southern California, we offer service plans tailored to you. If this is something you're interested in, I've provided a link in the description below. And if you mention this video, you can receive an additional 10% off any service plan you select. Our service plans are ideal for customers that went solar with a company that has since gone out of business. It's important to have someone inspect your system on a regular basis or at least once a year to prevent potential electrical shorts, arc faults, ground faults, and fire hazards. Plus, a routine cleaning helps keep your system in tip-top shape. Now we actually have a recent service that I want to show you. This inverter was manufactured by SMA America and is roughly eight years old. We had to replace this inverter because it had a fault and the motherboard shorted out causing a fire internally. This is a common issue we see with older inverters. One thing worth noting is the enclosure being designed to keep the fire contained. This isn't always the case, but we haven't come across any systems that the fire was able to spread outside of the unit. When you have a certified or licensed professional inspect your system at least once a year, they can test it to see if there are any potential issues like the one I'm showing. This isn't always the case though. Just like a car, you can take it to your mechanic on a regular basis, but unforeseen issues can still arise. But by scheduling routine service, you're ensuring the longevity of your system. I want you to note that calling your local electrician or handyman isn't the same as calling someone that works in the solar industry. We've seen it too many times. Homeowners that contacted their handyman electrician to do something to the solar system for whatever reason, and they ended up causing a fault or a short which damaged the motherboard. Solar isn't something your neighborhood handyman or electrician should mess with because most of them don't have the proper training, certification, or experience. Instead, I recommend that you contact a local solar company that's been in business at least eight years. And the reasoning for at least eight years is because they should be more familiar with older systems. Another topic I want to touch on is the installation standards that have changed over the years. And much of these standards have come about in recent years because of improperly installed systems. And by improperly, I mean they left wire hanging on the roof or worse, left wire fully exposed to the sun outside of the array. This is typically seen at the junction box on the roof. Some companies neglected to install weep holes inside the junction box as well. Weep holes are small holes that we drill into the bottom of the junction box that allows condensation or water to escape from the bottom, preventing a buildup that could cause, yeah, you guessed it, an electrical short. But what you may not know is a short at the array or inside a junction box can cause a fire very quickly. And that's because DC voltage is considered high voltage and can kill you if not properly handled. Older solar modules can produce as much as a thousand volts. And when DC electricity arcs, it creates a lot of heat and energy very fast causing fires. 
So if you have wires hanging on your roof and there's debris that's gathered, it's a potential fire hazard. The same goes for the junction box that has a water buildup in it. The last topic I want to touch on is the cleaning of your solar panels. This is something that will vary from area to area, but it's recommended to have your panels cleaned a minimum of once a year. Or if you live somewhere with a lot of air pollution or dirt buildup, then every six months is recommended. Clean solar panels produce more power. It's that simple. You could be losing out on as much as 25% of your system's total energy production. That could be the difference in not getting a bill from the utility company. That's all I have to talk about today regarding the importance of scheduling routine maintenance on your solar system. Feel free to leave a comment below regarding a system maintenance question you may have. We'll be sure to comment back with an answer. And of course, if you live in Southern California and you're interested in having your system inspected and tested by one of our technicians, visit us online or give us a call by following the link in the description below. Thanks for watching. Until next time.